Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys messages from your divine masculine. So I do say he or him for masculine, and I do say her or she for feminine. It's just the way that I channel. So just make sure that you apply it to your exact situation. And as with all messages, just take what resonates with you and get rid of what doesn't. You could be a divine feminine on the twin flame journey that is experiencing a separation or challenge with your masculine, or maybe you're in contact with your masculine. So like I said, just take it how it applies for your exact you know, situation. So the decks that I'm going to be using here today Day. I'll let you guys know what they are as I shuffle each deck. Everything will be listed down below. This beautiful organite is the dragon organite created by my friend Michelle from Wing and Bell. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Let's see. This is just going to kind of be an open reading. We're just going to shuffle decks and just kind of see what spirit wants to bring forth. So let's see. What is the first thing that the masculine wants the feminine to know? This right here is my Depths of the Sea Oracle. Okay, we have stay the course. So this masculine wants to tell the feminine to keep moving forward, okay? Sometimes we have a tendency as divine feminines to want to wait on the masculine. And I feel like this masculine is telling you, keep going, stay the course that you're currently on, whatever you're working on, whatever you're healing, etc. keep doing that work. That's beautiful. What else? We have, is, wow, do you see that two uh, boats, you know, ship and a sailboat. So it's kind of like this masculine, I feel, is in the pirate ship being uncooperative on this course. So what he's telling his divine feminine is regardless of how uncooperative I might be on this journey, continue to do you and stay the course. That's really cool. And we have Zen and be very aware of your own energy. Take time for you, Zen, awareness. Take time for your spirituality. Take time for your healing, to be peaceful, to be Zen, go within, stay the course with your spiritual journey, regardless of how uncooperative I am being at this present time. So if some of you guys are dealing with an uncooperative divine masculine, he wants you to know these things today. So let's go ahead and get some additional messages here. Let's now move into my Twin Flame Journey Oracle. We have returned. So the masculine wants to say something about returning. Okay. So now we're going to go into my Twin Flame Journey messages and get some words here. What does this masculine want the feminine to know about returning? Okay, I wish I could take back the things that I said. So I feel like what this masculine is trying to tell this feminine right now is that something that he said that he wishes that he could take back, so it might be something that was upsetting to her, he wishes that he could take these things back. And that might be something that, that actually prevents him from returning is because he can't forgive himself. Maybe he feels like you cannot forgive him. He doesn't deserve your forgiveness. So that I feel is some sort of a prevention. It's preventing him from returning right now because he's ashamed of the things that he had he said, especially if something went down between the two of you and there was hurtful words exchanged. What else do we have? Yeah, we have offer. So offer and return. So what I offer. Okay. So <laughs> what your masculine is also telling you, so of course, only take this if this particular situation resonates. If your masculine, in fact, left you or went into another direction, whether it was, you know, I need space or whatever the situation may have been, the grass was not greener on the other side. So what he's offering you today, even if he has not apologized, He's offering you from th this from his higher self, telling you that something wasn't as wasn't uh, what I cracked it up to be. It wasn't greener. It wasn't better. There's still something that I'm just you know I I haven't quite I haven't quite found it. I haven't quite settled into my peace or my own zen. You know I wish that I could take back something here. So I feel like this is just the offer that the masculine has to give the feminine in the meantime, even if he's not offering anything in the physical world, he is offering her this bit of information through this reading. 
is that it wasn't as amazing as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so there's a regret. Yeah, we have compromise now. Okay. So that to me is like two people working something out. I can still feel you. And that's beautiful. So this masculine has not let this feminine go. He still feels her energy with him. And because he feels her energy with him, he would like nothing more than to be able to reconcile and compromise with her eventually. But I'm just getting that right now, what is preventing him from returning and offering either an apology or reconciliation is that there was something that was said and he may have gone off in a direction, but was sadly mistaken. So he's dealing with the, just a lot of... Um, a lot of, uh, just feeling, feeling grief or just feeling something. See this card want to flip out right before I put the deck away. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. So it's like, he can't articulate what he's done. He can't articulate what's been said here or whatever. And I just wanted to make it clear too, that my readings that I do are based mostly with the feminine audience in mind. And this is not to demonize all divine masculines. I actually consider myself more of a divine masculine than a divine feminine, but I'm guided to give that guidance to divine feminines out there that might be dealing with the masculine who they've had issues with. So this is not to demonize all masculines. Um, I see some people in my comments that, you know, are not happy with some of the things that come out for the masculine. This is why I do all my card pulls on camera. So the cards don't lie. And this is just what we are seeing for my collective. If you're not a part of my collective, you can exit now and unsubscribe. It's no big deal. So if that resonates with you, take it. If it doesn't, no worries. So your masculine just can't seem to find those right words to say to you, to take back the things that he said, to apologize, to compromise with you, but he definitely wants to, and he can feel your energy still. So you're still with him, divine feminine. Beautiful. All right. So now let's take a look and, um, get some energies here from spirit. Okay. Let's see what spirit has to say about all of this. This right here is my Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination deck. I feel like what this is trying to tell us is just let nature take its course, okay? There's some things to be learned here. A spirit of Enchantment. Yeah, this is just a temporary situation, maybe just temporary issues. And we have contract, you know, people are going to follow through with their promises. People are going to commit to being better versions of themselves. And so this is just something that's going to take some time. That's what we've got here. What else? Yeah, look at that. Blue is not only the throat chakra, but it's very peaceful and tranquil. So eventually there will be this serenity and this connection. So spirit's telling you don't lose hope. Yeah, three, three, three. I love that. Threes to me are cooperation, right? This is about being able to express your authentic self because you're feeling really um, just balanced and even. Yep. And we have memories. The memories are too strong. The connection, the soul contract, the soul bond is too strong between the masculine and feminine. So they're not going to be able to just kind of like, you know, let this go and forget all about it and move forward with their lives. It doesn't mean that they couldn't, if they chose to do that free will, it doesn't mean that they could never uh, be happy with something or someone else. It's just indicating here that there is a strong pull towards one another to come back and reconcile, to work these things out and balance any kind of karma or issues that you may have had. So spirit is basically telling us here that things, you know, are working out naturally. Things are just having to run their particular course. That's what we have. So let's go ahead and get some, some twin flame angel numbers. That was my signs from spirit love Oracle twin flame angel numbers. What do we got? Okay. 105. Your intuition is divinely guided. So trust all that you are being shown at this time. So whatever it is that you are getting, you know, in your third eye, maybe in your crown shock or just that inner knowingness, really trust that trust the guidance that you're being given or trust what you're being shown at this present time. Yes, we have another third eye energy here. Visions in your third eye are coming in the form of telepathic waves from your twin flame. So you and the divine masculine feminine are communicating in these higher realms. So it's very important for you to be in that Zen energy, which is what the divine masculine was actually telling you from the very beginning. That was what he wanted you to know. 
be in your Zen energy because that's where you're actually going to get a lot of information about him and about this connection. So you can trust that. And we have 2020. Love it. Remain optimistic about your connection. Your true heart's desire is on the horizon. So some of you guys might have been going through, through this since 2020. Okay. Maybe there was a lot of things that happened between the two of you, but really try to remain optimistic. Even if it seems like all is lost, I'm getting here from spirit. Not all is lost. There is something that is on the horizon. That's going to really hit your heart space in a very, very good way. Okay. So just trust, trust that everything is unfolding in natural, you know, rhythms and time, and just trust that everything that's happening right now is happening for a reason and really connect with your Zen, you know, third eye, spiritual, calm, meditative type of energy. So that's what spirit wants you to know today, divine feminine. So let's go ahead and get some final messages from your masculine, final messages from your masculine. This right here is called the Messages of Love Cards by All Things Intuitive. What does your masculine want you to know, feminine? Yeah, look at that. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So it makes sense. So I feel like what he's telling you here is that uh, time apart is actually going to help us both recharge. These two cards came through. So we have self-care. See, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting and mastery. You've learned a spiritual lesson. So these are really beautiful, really, um, deep, you know, soul, very, uh, soul searching, very, um, you know, spiritual journey type of messages here. So the masculine is just asking you to really stay the course and to continue to master yourself by taking care of yourself and recharging yourself and ascending to the next level. That's what he's really telling you here. So let's go ahead and get some words. This is my twin flame journey messages. Number two, I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. So divine masculine knows that there is, I mean, time really is an illusion, but obviously, you know, when we're here living on earth, time is time, you know, time does run out eventually. So the time that you guys spend in separation or kind of taking a time out, he knows that he does risk. If he takes too much time, that it might be too late that you could possibly move forward. So he is aware of this divine feminine. And he wants you to know that he's aware that there's, you know, time is pending. I keep comparing others to you. So this is another thing. There's something very significant, something very special about feminine. He feels that soul bond with her. He feels that connection with her. So no one else is going to be able to replace divine feminine. So he is letting her know that. And you still take my breath away. Beautiful. <laughs> so again, no one can compare to the divine feminine. So it's almost like he's giving the feminine this boost of confidence to know that she is something special and that she can continue to stay the course of her spiritual journey and focus on herself and do her and really enlighten herself on this journey. I like that a lot. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else he wants to, her to know. This is my divine feminine healing. I forgive you. Wow. Beautiful. So the feminine might say, you know what? I have, I've done nothing wrong. There's no reason for the masculine, um, to have to forgive me. Maybe it's the other way around. If that's your story, what this masculine is saying is keep your heart open to him. Work on that heart chakra energy. It did just come up here from your, your, uh, angels and guides remain optimistic in your heart chakra and about your connection. This actually helps to attract it and helps it to grow in a healthy way. As long as you're holding on to hate or holding on to this resentment, it's not going to help the connection. So your masculine says, keep your heart open and be willing to forgive when the time is right. We have honesty. I speak up when I have something to share. I am no longer fearful of what other people cannot handle. So he's also saying that if the feminine was afraid to speak up and speak her truth and be authentic, he is telling her to make sure that she continues to work on this issue. He would rather her be honest with how she feels than keep herself small and not open up about how she's really feeling. And that's a part of that self-care. 
where you're focusing on the, on yourself. The more that you are in tune with yourself and love yourself, you're going to be a healthier version of you. And when you're a healthier version of you, you're not going to allow other people to sway you otherwise. So this could be something that happened before. Maybe the masculine was very dishonest or he wanted things a certain way and the feminine was just kind of like, yeah, you know what? That doesn't really feel right to me, but I don't want to lose you. So I'm going to go ahead and go along with it. That's not speaking your truth. So masculine is telling feminine, learn to master this about yourself. Learn to love yourself so much that even if you need to say no to me and keep healthy boundaries with even me, that's the best thing that you can do for yourself. And wishes. Okay, you guys. So there's something about remain optimistic about your connection. Your true heart's desire is on the horizon. So this says wishes. I trust what is meant for me will show up at the right moments in my life. So there is a heart's desire and wish that is like coming through as like it's coming true. There's definitely something here that's coming up. So let's go ahead and get some final messages here to wrap up this reading. So masculine really wants the feminine to continue to stay strong, focus on her, love herself, become a very strong divine feminine. And he may need that later on for some reason. Let's go ahead and go into my arrows of love oracle. Parting messages from divine masculine. Well, he's showing up here in the deck, masculine energy. We also have partnership. and past love. So if this is a connection that, um, you know, it's kind of like been lost, lost in time. It's from the past past love to me. is like a six of cups, reconciliation, wanting to come together. I'm also getting to that. This masculine might be trying to tell the feminine that he is wrapping up something that he is, that's still holding him back from this connection. If that resonates for you. What's this masculine energy about? Four of Wands. I feel like this masculine is telling the feminine that I'm working on this foundation. I'm working on my commitment. If, if I have issues, I'm working on my commitment issues. I'm working on building a better future for us. I want to make sure that by the time I return, maybe from the past or the way that I was in the past, I want to be able to bring forth to you a very um, solid, honest partnership. Okay. So I'm working on that is what I'm getting with that for masculine. I'm working on building a better foundation for our future. So I can offer you, this is like marriage. You guys, ace of pentacles can be seen sometimes as a proposal, just something, you know, a seed, maybe even family pregnancy, things like that. I'm working on offering you the world partnership. I'm offering, or I'm working on offering you something that's better than what I offered you before. That's what we're seeing here. And last message. Yeah, two of pentacles right now here. It's like back just up in the air. So this masculine, I feel is trying to tell this feminine that he is still working out, balancing out his life and balancing out his issues or his responsibilities or something. But his true heart's desire is with this feminine and it is to want to build a life with her. But one of the things that's holding him back is some past issues. So past words, past just experiences between the two of you. And he's still working that out and trying to balance out his energy so he can come forward and offer something that is going to be very solid to this feminine. So those are your messages today, divine feminine. I hope that you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.